get ready to raise the dead. On this edition, we're resurrecting Slashers, Maurice Devereaux's parody of reality TV. Shot in real time, it plays like an episode of a fictional Japanese game show, in which a trio of masked killers hunt six contestants who are trying to survive and split a $12 million prize. This special edition features six American contestants, former boxer Devon, computer programmer Michael, fitness instructor Rebecca, bouncer Rick, law student Megan, and aspiring actress Brenda. They're hunted by rookie Preacher Man, an imitation of Robert Mitchum's character from The Night of the Hunter, fan favorite Chainsaw Charlie, a Leatherface ripoff with expanded vocabulary, and all-time point leader Dr. Ripper, a psychotic physician with Hannibal Lecter's bedside manner. In the arena, Megan emerges as the final girl after an attempt to sacrifice herself as a political martyr is rejected by Dr. Ripper. Under instructions from the producers, he allows her to live, ripping off her blouse instead. Slashers mocks the perceived reality of reality TV, suggesting the degree to which producers exert control over events to provoke action and maintain audience interest. The show's production, personified by the roving cameraman, becomes a character itself, as the contestants and set pieces are manipulated to achieve desired results. Exits are blocked and doors are open, forcing contestants to split up. They're only in danger if the cameraman stays with them, as there can be no off-screen kills. Characters are also encouraged to share personal information as it builds audience rapport and makes them valuable to the storyline, improving their chances for survival. Megan's diatribe makes her too interesting to kill. This intrigue and her vulnerability actually help her survive. Preacher Man becomes the unlikely first kill as the result of a commercial break. He initially gets the jump on an isolated Megan and Rebecca, pinning Rebecca to the ground. He's about to deliver the killing blow when the show dumps to break. The camera continues to roll, illustrating that everyone must remain still. This is enforced by shock collars worn around their necks. Megan and Rebecca have the chance to verbally strategize and overtake Preacher Man once the show resumes. Chainsaw Charlie avenges this death and Megan catches up with Brenda, Michael, and Rick. When Charlie catches them on a bridge over a bed of spikes, Rick sacrifices himself to take out the slasher. Dr. Ripper then performs an unscheduled operation on Brenda's neck, and the contestants are down to three with time running out. Megan and Michael soon find themselves in the love room, where he encourages her to engage in sex for guaranteed momentary safety while also running down the clock. Megan balks and Michael attempts to take her by force before Devon appears and runs him off. While Devon promises to stay with her, the pair are abruptly separated by an automated door. Devon then finds himself with Dr. Ripper and a bloodied and motionless Michael. Devon takes out Ripper but is attacked by Michael, who played possum to gain a bigger share of the prize. He then chases after Megan, revealing he's a known serial killer and she'll be his final victim before he retires with the cash. Will Megan stop Michael, or will the Bible doll killer claim another one? Writer-director Devereaux combines familiar elements from The Running Man and Battle Royale with postmodern horror reflexivity to spoof the outrageous narratives that dominated reality TV by 2001. Critics have panned the low-budget production's subpar acting, unrealistic gore, and derivative narrative elements, and it's currently out of print on physical video and unavailable on major streaming platforms. That's a shame, because Slasher's innovative narrative framework, verite production style, and surreal imagery deserve to be viewed by a wider audience than obsessed B-movie nerds. If you can look past its more damnable attributes, you'll discover biting satire, making Slashers an experience that DJ Slash would describe as super fun. 